Hello, hello, hello. This one is very exciting for me. Zero Season 3. Just dropped the first episode, which was absolutely fantastic. 90 minutes full of nothing but happiness. And my happiness when it comes to ReZero is something you should already know what it means within the context of what makes ReZero great. Anyway, this video is going to be spoiler free. So if you want a review that includes the spoilers, there will be another video I'm gonna put out. So yeah. So anyway, right off the bat, one thing very clear I need to talk about. Beatrice is the best fucking character in this anime. And it's not even close. I used to have Roswell on the highest regard in this anime, purely because he is voiced by Dio. But it seems... It seems Joey the anime man was actually right. Beatrice is hands down the best character. She's a completely different character in this anime from what you remember from the first two seasons. It's so different and happy to the point I I don't think I can even go back and rewatch season 1 and 2 because I know it's gonna be absolutely heartbreaking to see all this character development retracted. So yeah, I think Beatrice probably had one of the best character development in maybe all of anime. So yeah, what to expect from the first episode? You will see a lot of familiar faces. This arc is gonna be big, I can tell. From all this preparation in the first episode, this is gonna be absolutely fantastic and I cannot wait. Also, something I need to mention, slowly bit by bit I'm starting to realize that everyone is starting to get their own portable lolly slash shota. Uh, so what's up with that? Of course, Subaru, my boy right here, has Beatrice as his portable lolly. <laughs> but yeah, there are like at least two other people who also have portable lollies. <laughs> and one with a portable shota, I guess. So yeah, I don't know who, what's the deal with this. Are they like gonna play po Pokemon with those uh, kids or something? I don't know. But yeah, the character interactions are pure gold. It's it's amazing, as always. ReZero always manages to surprise me. Like, it took a long break from season 2. And I was like, oh yeah, Monshuko Tensei is the greatest anime isekai of all time, nothing compares to it. And I always forget just how great ReZero is and how absolutely fitting of the throne it is when it comes to Isekai. Also, this episode's cliffhanger is nothing less than phenomenal. I'm not gonna talk about it, but yeah, once you see it, you realize why I say this. ReZero always manages to take any situation and successfully make it so damn creepy. It never fails to dial up the creepiness through the roof. And yep, I think that's a good spoiler-free reviews for you to go and uh, experience it for yourself. See you on the spoilers review. Anyway, get the fuck out.